protected, but it's a pig to use. <laughs> That's 13 key presses and a long way. Ed! Despise your company and your products. Forget it. Okay, so that's a pig. Too busy ranting, I should imagine. By waiting, 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 waiting. So, you could say I'm not a fan of the PVR which came with my TV. And I didn't want to spring 170 quid for Humax's offering, so I decided to build my own. It all starts with a digital broadcast and uh, for the last five years that's all there's been in the UK and of course you're going to need an antenna to receive those signals. Next you'll need a digital tuner and I want one that's capable of HD. These days it's possible to buy a USB dongle that'll do that for you. I'm plugging that into a USB hub. The USB hub is connected to a Raspberry Pi. I'm also connecting a large hard disk drive and really those four components together make a personal video recorder. You need to install something like Kodi onto the Raspberry Pi which implements the functionality you need. So the HDMI output from the Pi goes straight to your high definition TV and you can control the whole thing if you're lucky with your TV's remote control through a system called CEC which is Consumer Electronics Communications. When requested by the Pi, the TV acts as a gateway between the TV remote control and the Kodi system through the HDMI interface. This really removes the clunkiness you might expect from a system like this. There's no second, third or fourth remote. There's no keyboard you need to use. You just use your TV's remote. But it'll only work if your TV supports CEC. Well this is my digital video tuner. It's um, a brand called August. It supports DVB hyphen T which is HD and it cost me second hand 23 pounds from um, Amazon. That connects into this powered hub which is a um, Belkin variety. This one did cost me 20 pounds. I should have spent about a fiver but it does provide good um, current supply capability. And then there's the Raspberry Pi Zero. This is a Zero W variant so it comes with a Wi-Fi added which is very convenient. Um, it's normally £5. I spent £10 and bought the adapters which um, make it more convenient to use. There's the HDMI adapter there. Um, and of course there's a micro SD card for holding the software Kodi. Um, and that's uh, supplied with Libra Elec is the version of Unix which I'm using here. And the final component is the hard disk drive, this one's a passport, one terabyte, cost me fifty pounds, but I already owned it, it was connected to the Sunny Bravia TV before. The powered hub already came with a power adapter, so no need to buy one of those. And this is the whole system wired up. This would function. You plug your TV aerial into the tuner, the silver thing on the top, you plug your TV into the HDMI socket on the right of the Pi towards the left of the diagram. You plug the power socket into the wall and you're off and running. This is Kodi. Kodi is an open source, um, free to download um, multimedia system platform and it's currently running on a Raspberry Pi Zero W which is a five pound system on a board um, with built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and other bits and pieces. It's more than a digital video recorder. You can um, download music, um, it's got radio, your pictures and uh, videos are also accessible weather. Um, lots of people use it for watching IPTV in order to steal things basically, but that's not my interest. I downloaded and installed this and got it running for its TV uh, digital video recorder which is here. Now this is a bit more like it if you ask me. We've got um, a set of categories here so this is my collection of Star Trek Voyages this is this is my collection of Star Trek the original series this is my collection of BBC's click tech magazine program so there's a hierarchy there there are sensible genres easy to see um, and we can go uh, and explore the episodes like this um, so you get the date and time and we can go even further because if we go to each Episode we see the tick means it's been watched, 
The square means it hasn't been watched, and the partially filled circle means it's been partially watched. So you've got some degree of how how watched this episode is. And then finally on the right hand side, you can see uh, a description of the series in general and this episode in particular. So an alien test pilot, blah blah blah. Easy to see um, what uh, what that episode is. Back right out. There's no no lengthy rebuild. Bam. There it is. Bam. There it is. Chalk and cheese. Sunny. Chalk and cheese, mate. What were you thinking? How did you get to be the global giant you are today? Answers on a postcard, please. I'll be making a video soon to show you a bit more about the hardware surrounding this system. But if you've got most of the parts, you might be able to build it for nothing. If you haven't got any of the parts, then you're looking at £5 for the Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, I paid £23 for a digital um, uh, digital video receiver, USB device, and I'm using a one terabyte hard drive which costs £50. So mm, you're looking at about 70 quid if you have to buy everything in. You need a uh, powered USB hub as well. Um, but it was an interesting exercise for me. It's cheaper than the cheapest other way, which I guess is the, yeah, the £179 Humex half a terabyte recorder. So this system does more than that and for less money. Mm -hmm.